Hi, I'm Nick Tipping. Welcome to week two of the Royal New Zealand Air Force Band's Ensemble Series. We really hope you enjoyed week one, and this week we've got an equally varied selection of music for you. We're gonna start off with a jazz track from the tenor saxophone player, Benny Golson. The best known version of this is from a Dizzy Gillespie album from 1957 called The Greatest Trumpet of Them All. Here's the Benny Golson tune, Just By Myself.
Next up, a piece of tango music from the pen of the great Astor Piazzolla. Piazzolla was responsible for Tango Nuevo, a style of tango which was written for the concert hall as opposed to the dance hall. With Tango Etude number no. two, here is Corporal Hannah Derrick.
Here's some music by the French composer Jacques Hébert. His three short pieces are drawn from the incidental music that Hébert wrote for a play by the Irish playwright George Farquhar called The Bow's Stratagem. Here are three short pieces by Jacques Hébert. Facade is an outrageous piece of cabaret entertainment featuring the poems of Edith Sitwell narrated over music by William Walton. From Facade, we're going to hear the popular song and the yodeling song. They're narrated by leading aircraftman Elizabeth Bush King. Mm -hmm. 
O'Grady, silly and shady, longing to be a lazy lady, walked by the cupola's gables in the late Georgian stables. In a fairy tale like the heat and tents, and the mist in the woods when across the fence, the children gathering strawberries are changed by the heat. Though their fair hair shines there like gold, head planets, Calliope, Io, Pomona, Antiope, Echo and Clio. Then Lily O'Grady, silly and shady, sauntered along like a lazy lady beside the waves, hiccups her gown with tucks was of satin, the colour of shining green ducks, and her folder on. Parasol was a great godson with her haycocks shining, but she was a woman, cool as the shade that time on the brightest lady left. Then a satyr dog haired as trunks of trees began to flatter, began to tease. And she ran like the nymphs with golden foot that trampled the strawberry buttercup root in the thick cold dew as bright as the mesh of dead Penope's golden flesh. Made from the music whence were born Memphis and Thebes in the first hot morn and ran to wake in the lake where the water was seem hay to wake. And Charlatine, Adeline, round rose bubbling Victorine, and the Uckfish express a wish for mastic mantles and gowns with a swish, and bright and slight as the posies of buttercups and of roses, and buds of the wildwood lilies, their chaser is frisky as fillies. The red retriever head satyr can whine and tease and flatter. But Lily O'Grady, silly and shady, in the deep shade is a lazy lady. Now Pompey's dead, Homer's red, Heliogabalus lost his head, and shade is on the brightest wing, and dust forbids the birds to sing. We bear velvet cream, green and babyish. Small leaves seem each stream, horses' tails that swish. And the chimes remind us of sweet birds singing, like the jangling bells on rose trees ringing. Man must say farewells to parents now, and to William Tell and Mrs. Cow. Man must say farewells to storks and bats and to roses bells and statuettes. Forests white and black in spring are blue with forget me and to lovers true. Still the sweet bird begs and tries to cousin them by angels eggs sold by the dozen. Gone are clouds like ends on the garden's bricks, and the mountain gins Ganymede sells drinks, while the days seem grey and his heart of ice, grey as chamois or the Edelweiss. And the mountain streams like cowbells sound, terror Lyra, drowned in the waiter's dreams, who has gone beyond the forest waves, while his true and fond ones seek their graves? Next up, a jazz standard by the tenor saxophone player Sonny Rollins. This originally featured on the 1956 album Sonny Rollins Plus Four. Here's Pent Up House by Sonny Rollins. <laughs>
And now for something completely different, a piece of music from my childhood. It's the theme to the English television show The Wombles. The Wombles' motto was making good use out of bad rubbish. And it echoes the growing environmental movement of the 1970s, which is of course especially applicable today. Here's the theme from The Wombles. Here's a piece which may sound quite familiar. It's called Tiko Tiko no Fuba, which literally means sparrow in the cornmeal. It's a Brazilian piece which was made popular by the Andrews sisters and Carmen Miranda, among others. This version's for clarinet octet. Here is Tiko Tiko no Fuba. <laughs> 